Hello everyone, this is Dr. João Alfredo Kleiner, veterinary ophthalmologist from Brazil, and today I'm going to show you a cataract surgery performed in a Bengal tiger. Main features of the procedure, the patient was a two and a half year old female Bengal tiger, both eyes were done on the same day, and a custom made IOL implanted. So this is what the positioning looks like, this is a dorsal recubancy. This is our endotracheal tube utilized to do the gas anesthesia with isoflurane, phaco unit, and this is our surgical microscope. Patient weight was 300 kilograms. So this is the port incision with a diamond blade of one millimeter triapen blue and this is the main incision 3.2 millimeters incision viscoelastic in the into the anterior chamber you can appreciate a little bit of hemorrhage all over the peripheral part of the iris this is quite common in this species opening the anterior capsule to perform the capsular axis. So first you puncture with a needle and then increase with seizures. And then using the ultrata forceps, performing the capsular axis. Look how thin and elastic and delicate is the anterior capsule. So one should be very careful in order not to make radial tears. quite a large capsular axis because of the big size of the lenses. Here doing the hydro dissection with BSS. The cortical part of the lenses is very jelly. So you can appreciate how easy it is to mobilize the nucleus. Emulsification being done. So this is a standard FACO tip. Most of the part of the lenses is very jelly and easy to aspirate. Takes a long time to aspirate everything. And this is the central part of the nucleus which is very hard so we have to use both hands doing the stop and chop technique in order to fragmentate all this hard part takes a long time because the, the central part is very very hard so it's quite a unique feature in this species So ultrasound power should be 60 to 65 percent. And this is the retinal image right after all the cataract material has been aspirated. So this is the custom made intraocular lenses. So the optic zoom is 12 millimeters and the overall length is 21 millimeters. The diopter power is plus 30 and it is a acrylic hydrophilic foldable intraocular lenses. This is what the lenses looks like. So have the so plate design with rings on the anterior surface of the lenses that improves the light ref diffraction so you have a better image projecting on the retina. In order to implant the IOL 
we have to increase the incision to six millimeters like so and use forceps for the implantation kind of a tricky because of the size of the lenses so we have to do both hands in order to make sure that the lenses opens in the back so centralizing the intraocular lenses aspirating the viscoelastic used and suturing the cornea with 90 nylon so this is what the suture looks like so this is a, a big incision it's a six millimeters incision so usually three to four stitches are good and now we are doing a little bit of stroma edema using BSS and reinflating the anterior chamber right after the procedure uh, subconjunctival injection of beta metazone 0.3 ml is used in order to prevent the post op uveitis. So, this is an image three days post op. Handassa was the name of the patient. She was uh, hand being hand fed with a baby bottle, and that's the way we train the tiger to accept the eye drops. So this is the owner here, and you can appreciate how calm the eyes are. And she was seen pretty good three days after the procedure. So this is the surgical team. This is me, this is my wife Camille, and this is Dr. Livia that was responsible for the tiger. The tiger is still under anesthesia, this is right after, after the procedure was done. This is another shot of the post-op. This is our anesthetist, Dr. Watanabe, another uh, technician and the owner of the practice. Here we are doing a uh, fundus exam with the clear view retinal camera right after the procedure so this is the retinal image so it's quite similar to a domestic cat fundus and this is a, a quite nice view of a normal tiger retina so those guys have a tapito zone this is the tapito zone that reflects the light back and stimulates the retina again so they can see better than us during night this is one day before release from the eye isolation so you can appreciate that the tiger is interacting with others so we can appreciate the near vision and the far vision still using the eye drops so this is testing the far vision there's a guy on the roof there and got a positive menace response was a quite awesome outcome you trying to bite the owner <laughs> just for fun so this is for testing the near vision and the vision acuity so playing with a little toy just like we do in domestic cats so I use ve very calm no photophobia or important uveitis
quite active and respond very good to the surgical procedure. So this is it. I hope you all enjoy it. It was quite a reward for us to have been able to perform this complicated surgery in a, such a beautiful animal. This is very rare procedure in the world. And I invite you guys to log in my website and see much more about my work. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks.